Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today we're back in Appaloosa Plains with another Let's Renovate. Today we are doing Clydesdale Ranch, which houses four roommates. Um, they are over, if you load into the game um, in Appaloosa Plains, they're over to the right hand side with all the other lots. I think there's is it Benjamin Schmidt? I think that's his name anyway. He is here as well. Um, honestly, I can't remember the other lots that are down here. Um, so yes, this is, I think it's called the Unfettered with Feathers household. Um, kind of a weird name. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is their house ranch, whatever you want to call it. So as you can already see, I'm doing something slightly different that I haven't done in any of my other houses in Appaloosa Plains, which is some trade tooling. Um, as you uh, will see, I play around with it for quite a while. I'm just trying to get it to how I want it because I did want there to be like a walkout basement. Um, I do manage to do that, which is incredible because <laughs> I'm not the best with any um, terrain tooling or basement level Thing, whatever because I didn't want to use the actual basement tool that comes within the game um so yeah in this household you get Kenji Midham, Hayley Shepard, Zach Whipsnake and Benny Hennessy. Benny Hennessy is the only one that is a teen and she has no other connections to anyone within town I'm really confused as to why she's in the household um I don't know if they accidentally put her as a teen and they meant to put her as a young adult I don't know let me know in the, just uh, in the comments down below what your opinion is on that there is an attached garage it didn't come with one um originally um but i thought it just suited the house quite nicely and i put two bedrooms on that first level and then down in the basement there is two more um this roof gave me a bit of trouble i was not happy with it at all for quite a while so you'll see me just fiddling around i'm not normally too bad at roofing if i'm completely honest or if i can trump what's it called toot my own horn um but this roof because it's quite a long like the width is quite long and there's nothing really of interest it looks quite boring um but yeah i just popped this little like, upper level thing dormer thing it honestly it does nothing there's no nothing up there at all it just gives a little bit of interest um and then out the back here we do a, like some leveling down and yeah trying to get these stairs to go how i wanted um i do a lot of fiddling around so hopefully this doesn't make you too dizzy i do apologize if it does um, but we get there in the end guys and I really really love how it turns out If you follow me over on Twitter, you would have seen that I actually put a post up about this and I was like I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. I've been a bit um, I've been a bit ambitious with this and it was to do with this build like with this walkout basement I was just trying to get all these levels and making it all work and it just wasn't happening and I did walk away a couple of times just because it was irritating me so much but we got there in the end guys and i love how it turns out i hope you do too um i'm down to i think i've only got three or four more builds um as in residential lots in appaloosa plains and that's really exciting i hope you're getting excited as well because i sure am and then we will be on to the community lots which is just incredible this I can't even remember when I even started building Appaloosa Plains, like renovating it. It would have been last year at some point, um, end of last year maybe. I can't remember guys, you probably know better than I do. Um, so I'm going to go over a little bit of The Sims. I do make them over, that is right at the very end if you wish to watch that. Please feel free to watch that obviously and let me know what you think of their makeovers. I did try to stay to the like traits and their colors and everything like that <clears throat> excuse me but yeah um so i'm going to start with kenji um he isn't actually that bad looking when you first load into the game he didn't need too much plastic surgery or anything like that um it was more of just like the cosmetic in his like clothes and yeah everything like that so he is absent-minded a workaholic handy perfectionist and a computer whiz there's lots of computers in his room so yeah i'm i the rooms i do try to tailor to the sim so hopefully you'll see that when it come when we come down to it 
and then so yeah his favorite color is yellow so you'll see lots of yellow in his clothing and in his actual bedroom and yeah everything like that um, his favourites are Electronica, Dim Sum, um, and obviously the colour yellow as I said, he's an Aquarius and his lifetime wish is to become a creature robot crossbreeder. I've never actually done that lifetime wish so maybe one day I'll get around to doing that. Um, I think I've got like, to at least like level 8 of the science career but I've never actually got that far so if you have let me know what, like is there anything spectacular about it or anything like that. So his um uh, skills he is a fishing level nine which is amazing gardening level two so i have included some gardening bits at the back i don't know if you've already seen that um but yeah i have done that and he's got riding level nine which is incredible considering they don't have any horses but yeah maybe he goes out to the ranches or not the ranches but like the horsey bits and does something no i don't know but yeah and then the next one i'm going to talk about is hayley um she's so pretty in game i hardly ever like i hardly even touched her she's so pretty um i just changed her clothing ea did quite quite good with these because um i didn't really do too much the only person that i really tweaked was zach who i'll talk about in a moment and benny because she's a teen so i had to age her up anyway I'm going to talk about Hayley again. So she's absent-minded, good bookworm, hopeless romantic and a dog person. Her favourites are Latin spaghetti and the colour pink. So again, there'll be a nice bit of pink in her room and her lifetime wish is to be a heartbreaker and she has no skills. Um, So for her to be a heartbreaker, I just don't see her to be a heartbreaker. I really don't. I don't know why or anything like that. She just seems like a really sweet sim. Um maybe if you play her or if i get around to do like a rotational or something i will make sure i change that because i just don't see her as being a heartbreaker at all um but yeah that's my personal opinion um if you have any other thoughts let me know in the comments down below if you've even played with this household let me know what happened um what you did with them and everything like that um and then zach as i said i did have to change quite a bit about him because he was he was in a state guys <laughs> i don't know what ea were thinking about him i don't know if they were thinking maybe he needs to look like because his name is whip snake and his fate everything about him is to do with snakes that he needs to have like a snakeish look to him which okay i get but you you, you did him dirty yeah you did him real dirty um so his um traits are over emotional daredevil he has commitment issues issues he's a vehicle enthusiast and is a natural cook his favorites are electronica sushi and the color spice brown so his room is very very brown and neutral i tried to include some snake print as well because that was in his original bedroom like originally if that makes sense so i did try to include that and then he wants to become the culinary librarian librarian i can't ever say that word culinary librarian is that the word we'll go with it guys and his skills are cooking level one and a ride in level four again i don't know how he got that ride in skill but use your imagination guys <laughs> um and yeah so the kitchen is lovely and he can spend many a time cooking in there as you can see that is just off to the left as you're looking at it i have included laundry as always in all of my builds or my renovations i do try and include it if you don't wish to use it feel free just to get rid of it and turn it into another bathroom again that is completely up to you and then finally we're going to go on to benny um when you watch her um I also say renovation her makeover you'll notice that i age her up into an adult um or young adult sorry and um, this is just so i can get her proportions right in her face because if you do it as a teen and then you age them up their sliders go all whack and yeah they look horrific so yeah i age her up and then i age her back down and obviously you finish off her makeover like that um but her favorites not sorry, favorites her traits sorry she's flirty a great kisser virtuoso and a schmoozer her favorites are indie fish and chips and the color black and she doesn't have a lifetime wish yet because she is a teen um i interpreted her to be like a gothic emo kid um and you'll see that in her makeover as well as her room and i love how it turns out i don't do that style very often and i'm living for it i really am guys i hope you like it 
It's very different to anything I normally do. Um, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit because I have... I was looking back through all my builds um, and I was just like, they all look so similar. Um, I don't know if you guys think the same or what you think. Um, let me know. Um, I, I know everyone has their own style and everything like that, but I just feel like they're all looking the same. I want to do something different. But yeah, anyway, going back to Benny, her skill, she has a fishing level nine, which is considering she's a teen and fishing level nine, that's quite cool. And a writing level two. So I do include a computer. I think it's actually a laptop in her room. Um, so she's able to get on with her writing. Um, so that's everything about them. To do with the house, it's still a four bedroom. Um, and it's now a two and a half bathroom rather than the three bathroom it was originally. Um, I don't really know why I've put it down to two bathrooms. I probably would have put three in, but I just didn't have the space for a start and i didn't see the need for it because there is a half bathroom so if a sim needs to go to the toilet and the other two are already used then they can just go for a tinkle in the other bathroom um and yes yeah, so this house actually comes in at 234,928 simoleons so quite a hefty price bracket um but i think if there's a for like, like three adults and a teen that are paying rent like that's not too bad actually um but as you can see we've already started furnishing i've done the exterior the color scheme um for the exterior came together quite nice um quite quickly if i can talk um came together quite nicely and quickly um i tried not to over clutter it in here because i did imagine that um they'll be throwing some parties and obviously the guests with rooting errors and everything like that i didn't want to overcrowd it but there is a six seater um dining table in here um there is a spare one i just imagine that if say in the real world you'll just pull that one up and use it as extra but yeah um and there is no real doorways in the like kitchen dining and living area it is all quite open plan um so yeah we're now on to the i was gonna say dining room we've done that <laughs> and we're now over into the lounge and there's some bookcases in here i do include a um drinks table thing bar that's the word <laughs> um in here there was one in the original build as well which was in the dining room the color scheme was quite ghastly in the original i am um, i as you'll see in the what's it called in the screenshots at the very end you'll see that the colors were very in your face let's just put it that way i have toned them down a lot um, I hope you don't mind with me doing that. I just think it looks a lot better and I just imagine that the landlord or whatever would have... I just imagine this being a rented accommodation. I don't know why, guys. Just bear with me. That's my thought process. Um, that the landlord would have made it as neutral as possible and then the bedrooms is where the sims can then like express themselves. Um, I was originally thinking of maybe going for a mismatched theme, which you will see in the bedrooms. I just imagine the Sims, like, the landlords would have given the Sims all the stuff that is out in the, like, communal areas. And then the Sims had to furnish their own rooms, um, which I found quite fun and different to do. Um, my style is very matchy-matchy. Sorry, I just thought I heard someone at the gate. <laughs> um lost my train of thought now guys um yeah so my um building style is quite matchy matchy and i like everything to blend together which i try to steer away from um just to make it a little bit different because as i said i just feel like all my builds are looking the same which is kind of disappointing i know i just i don't know guys you'll have to let me know what you think um i know lo i love my building style i do because otherwise i wouldn't show you like let's be honest I if i wasn't happy with what i was doing i wouldn't show you um but yeah for now i think it's okay um i'm hoping to get better <laughs> doesn't everyone hope to get better though um but yeah so this is the half bathroom I was on about and then on this level I'm trying to think now who did I put on this level I put Hayley and Benny on this level so it's like the girls are on this level and then downstairs in the basement you've got the two boys or the men whatever you want to call them um so I think we do Hayley's room first which we'll see in just a moment after this full bathroom um no one has an ensuite they are all like 
just shared if that makes sense um and you'll see in a moment there will be quite a bit of pink um if you don't like pink feel free to get rid of it i completely understand it's not everyone's cup of tea so i originally go for this bed i do change it quite quickly and i go for this one from university um it's a little bit cheaper and this room goes through a very a very sorry about that guys i had to go pick up some post from the door <laughs> um, my other half's been doing some ordering of fishing stuff so yeah what i was actually trying to say is this room goes through quite a few various layouts because your girl couldn't make up her mind i was like i'll just put up the bed up against the wall and then i didn't like that and i was like but what if she wants to get down with a get down with a man or a female um they can't get into the bed so it's not like the sims floor where like sims floor where they can just get over um so yeah this is what i've come up with and i actually quite like it and i put a, a nice pink i was gonna say backsplash not a backsplash a nice wallpaper up on the wall with some flowers and i make the the universe i use quite a lot of university in this actually thinking about it at least i think that bed's from is that bed from university it might even be from ambitions actually thinking about it um uh, let me know in the description down in the description in <laughs> i'm out, out my train of thoughts gone completely now because that postman's got me all in a tizzy <laughs> anyone else do that like if someone interrupts you in the middle of something you're doing your train of thought just is gone there's and then you can't get back to what you were doing all day oh hopefully you'll just stick with me now that this has gone a bit of a gone a bit weird <laughs> but please bear with me it's okay um i'm trying to pre-record as much as possible um making sure you guys have got some nice some nice content um while i'm going to be having some maternity off um with my baby um so yeah i want i want you guys to have something to watch at least <laughs> um while i'm gone and hearing your feedback and everything like that that just spurs me on to do more um i will be doing a stream at some point to show off the build with me um not the build with me the build challenge and the shell challenge hopefully i've already done that this this might be late oh, who knows guys this might not even be relevant right now because it's currently the 17th of may while i'm recording this and this is probably going to go out in june sometime so it's going to be a while so yeah hope you hope you're all all right by the way guys um let me know in the comments down below what you've been up to um anything new in your life um i love chatting with you guys updating you on anything that's going on in mine because my my world's just revolves around my family mostly so yeah i don't really get up to too much if i'm completely honest but yeah we're down into the basement now guys so this is exciting um this bathroom is the biggest out of all of them um out, well out of the two <laughs> um and yeah there's lots of bouncing around so i do apologize it's just so i can get make sure that i'm using everything's uh, make sure i'm using everything the same that is upstairs if that makes sense and then we are on to kenji's bedroom so this bedroom is quite yellow i do make the wall um just a plain white because i didn't want it to be too out there and then i make a l shape um what's it called desk area because the actual laptop will not be usable they would actually have to pick it up and put it into their inventory and use it that way um so hopefully you don't mind with me doing that i just wanted to make sure that he's got some more like electronic things because he is a computer whiz i just imagine him to have like the best of the best of the computer stuff and i swear that every time that i'm getting into this i hear the gate go which is just fantastic um i think that's my next door neighbor actually but still it's put me off again <laughs> um i just think it's going to be one of those voiceovers so i do apologize guys and um, please bear with me um and yeah I'm trying to think if i put anything else into here so you've got the bookcase which i made like an iron kind of look if that makes sense i really love that iron metal the one that's like slightly raised or i imagine yeah imagine to be slightly raised um i really like it and then just recoloring everything at the moment he's got like a little flag up but i don't know if it would actually be a flag but i just wanted something a little bit different 
And yeah, I think that room is pretty much done. I'm just doing like the last bits of the recolouring. And then I was like, um, I've put in a pet bowl, so I better put in some other pet stuff. Um, and yeah, so I do that. And then we're on to Zach Whipsnake um, with his snakes. So I do originally just put one snake in here, but then I do put in another one and I add two. Um, I just imagine him to be very much of a person that likes snakes, which is not me, guys. I am not a person that likes snakes or any reptile. Um, I'm very much, I like my cuddly furry pets, <laughs> which is kind of strange, but it's not strange, I suppose. I was actually talking to my grandparents yesterday about um, rats because they were saying how they'd had some rats in their garden and they'd had to get rid of them. Um, and I was like, oh no, get me away from them. I cannot deal with anything to do with rats or anything like that. Um, I much prefer a nice fluffy bunny or a cat or a dog, something that's not going to bite me or otherwise perceived to bite me um, and then we are on to what I'm gonna call like a cinema room so down here there is a I actually make it into a room and then block off a tiny bit just because I didn't know what to do with it and um, it's just a two by two that I block off um, and then down here you've got a coffee machine a microwave a little like fridge fridge thing that you can get from university um, and a little bin and then I make it quite dark in here with some red um, seating and then just these little spotlights on the side um, and I really love how it turns out I just imagine if you've got I think it's with a store set the popcorn I'd probably put the popcorn machine in there as well I just obviously don't use store content or CC so I couldn't put that in there but please do feel free to pop that in there that is where I'd put it and then we are into where I'd do like where your guests can come do pool um i just wanted somewhere else for your sims to play because in the original house there is a foo foosball table um, and i thought why not go a step further and do a pool table because we're bougie <laughs> um but yeah i really love how this house is turning out as i've said before please comment down below what you think um give me some validation guys that this is good <laughs> I'm joking um, and then we're off outside I do a hot tub outside which I don't normally do guys which is just incredible um, I love this um what's it called hot tub I literally just said that <laughs> I love this hot tub um and it's just like again it's something different I don't normally do this I'm um, going out of my comfort zone again and and then I pop in some lounge chairs so we're actually coming up to the end of the build and then we are on to um the makeovers of the sims i'd love for you to stick around to watch those and then give me your feedback down below because if there is any something that you suggest or something like that i will go back and i will change it and um, so please don't think that your comments go in vain because they don't i do go back and change things if you've commented them um, or if you've noticed something that I've done wrong or that just doesn't look right. Um, and yeah, this is where I'm just doing the little garden for Kenji. And yeah, so I'm starting to get out of breath now. So it's probably the perfect time for me to go. Again, comment down below what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things. And I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.